All right, guys, so we're on Hatteras Island and we're going to be meeting David Wilson to go do a shelling and clamming charter here now. We're, we're pretty excited here. It's going to be fun. Tommy, it's good to meet you. What's your name? Hi. This is my son, Simon. Hi, and, Simon. Um, How you doing? All right, welcome aboard, Tom. Welcome aboard, Nate. All right, guys, so we're pushing off. We're going to go do a three hour clamming and shelling charter here with Godspeed Charters. David Wilson's going to hook us up here, and uh, I'm going to put links in the description. Did you need them once, but the other boys didn't need them? Hey, Tom, you like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Hey, did you like this? Tommy, this might be a secret pirate island. Shell. That's an olive shell, and you will find these in all colors and sizes. Look at these welts. You got this broken welt. Yeah. I was telling the kids about how pirates tend to drink in the evening. Look at, look at right there. Oh, I have this one. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, look, at, look at this. Look at this shell right here. That's kind of a weird shape. It's a huge clam. That's bigger than the other clam. Now you know in a little bit we're gonna go hunt for clams. Oh that's huge! You guys got tons of them. You're loaded. Captain said that there might be some pirate treasure over by that tree. What's under your feet? Look under your feet. I just found a I just find the pirate. What'd you find, Nate? A big shell. Look look at your feet. Look underneath. Goodness! Our treasure! <laughs> I am wet! Oh I am wet! Show me your coins! Hold out your hand! I'm wet! Look, look at that! I'm oh wet. my goodness! Oh yeah, look, we got some good stuff here. These pirates are international travelers. <laughs> look at what you found. Hold up the camera, show me. Look at what you found! You've got so many big ones! Oh, yeah, that's iron? Yeah. Probably came off of a ship. Oh, look at that. Now, the captain said that over by that tree was a good spot to look for seashells. You wanna go? Yeah. yeah. This is just an awesome, awesome thing to do. Got our own little island here. The kids get to play. We're having a great time. Look at that! That's cool. No, that's a big one. That's an olive. Yeah, it even has baby shells in it. That cool one? Oh, look over here, bud. Look at this. There's one right there. Look at right there. There's one right there. There's another one right there. There's a nice piece of anthracite. It looks like it looks like a fighting sword. Looks like you can go and punch with it and then stab with it. Oh my goodness, that's a ton of shells. Ooh, nice. I didn't find this. He said this is from the lightning striking the sand. Oh, oh, yeah, like the glass from the making lightning. That is cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Jacob found that. Oh, that's pretty. I'm coming. Look at this one. You know, one really nice thing about this is there's really nothing to hurt the kids on this island. The water's not deep, there's no big waves, there's no strangers, no wild animals, poison snakes. They can just kind of do whatever they want, and I can see them anywhere on this island. Look at that one. Daddy, this is going to be easy peasy lemon Oh, look at this. You see that one? Oh, that one's perfect. I got one. I Let me got... see it. Yeah, it's not a big one, but look at that one. That one's in great shape. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that one's perfect. 
Wait a minute, what do you have in your mouth? Oh, Jacob found the shell. Look at that. You guys ready to go get some clams? Yeah. Let's go get some clams. pretty simple we've got these rakes that have these big tines on them and you just drag it through the mud and you'll feel this little ding when you hit something that feels like a rock then you go back and you scrape it up and pop out comes the clam as long as it's more than one inch across you can keep them and the limit's a hundred a day per person so we're not going to limit out today oh there's one there's one right here. Here, Tom, come here. They're right here. Watch your hands. Oh, I got him. Got him. Look at this one. Can we keep these? Oh, you feel that? Yeah. Wait, I see it, I see it! Oh! Look what we, we found! Ooh, wait, is that a crab? It's a whelk! That is so cool. Go put it in the basket. I got him! Got him! Where's the big one? There you go! Good job! Becca's in the boat watching Jacob, and this is too much fun. I think I better give her a turn. Woo, it's so bad. <laughs> you got him, he's up. See him? Now flip him. See it right there? Yeah, hold him up. I got a There you go. Woo! Shut up the camera. I got clams. There you go, buddy. Are they sharp enough? No, no, these are like razor clams. Yeah, there it is. I see it. You popped him out. Ooh, a big one, baby! Now you kind of hit the same spot. It was. I guess see. No, we'll put him in there. I got one. Yay! I got we're we're having an absolute ball, aren't you, Jacob? Whoa! There we go. Look at that. Here. Awesome. Throw that one back. Okay. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Isn't that awesome? All right, guys, throw it back. One, two, three. All right, yay! I've never eaten milk before, but I know you can't eat them. So let's uh, let's take it home and see if we can cook them up. Look at that guys, that is a pile of clams. If the clams
Clams are gonna escape. Now's their chance to make a break for it. Do you guys have a good time doing that? Yeah. yeah. No, would you like to do it again? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Our, our new fields. All right, we made it back to the beach house and uh, the bucket full of clams tipped over when I hit the brakes. And so we have clams all over the back of the car. But what I've got here is I've got a big bucket of uh, fresh water here and I'm just putting the clams in, kind of rinse them off and to kind of try to keep them a little bit cool. Okay, I've got the clams rinsed off and they've been sitting in the fresh water for a little while and they've purged out a lot of their sand. We're gonna go ahead and make some deep fried po' boy clam sandwiches here. So let me show you how it's done. We're gonna set aside the whelk and then the clams I'm gonna put in this pot over here. Had enough water to completely submerge the clams and put them on a medium to high heat and boil them for about three minutes. They should pop open uh, quite suddenly as soon as you get it boiling. And then just drain off all the water and you'll see that some of the clam meat has separated on its own from the shells and just pick that up and, and set it aside. Other times you just take a little bit of a knife and you just, there's one little tendon there, you just slice it and it pops right out. It's really easy. There's uh, a tendon on the bottom of the shell and the top of the shell. And it, whichever one's sticking, just kind of hit it with the knife. doesn't take much, and it separates. If the clam is still closed, just get in there and pry it open with a knife. It's not too hard. And then just separate both the top and bottom tendon, and you're, you're done. Uh, even Nathan helped out. Then go and rinse off the meat to make sure you get rid of all the sand and grit. And uh, then you can go ahead and just eat them as is. Smaller clams, that's exactly what you do. But these are bigger clams, and so there's a substantial amount of poo still inside it. So uh, kind of find the little green ball underneath the skin of the meat and just slice into it. Kind of cut the meat in half longwise and just kind of butterfly it open. And you'll see kind of the green stuff that you don't want to eat and just run under water and it comes right out. So. You can go ahead and just kind of butterfly all the, the clam meat bits and get all that stuff out. Then take the bowl of clam meat and season it with Old Bay seasoning as much or as little as you like. And then take the, the meat and roll it in all-purpose flour. You can even add a little bit of the seasoning to the flour if you like. Then put it in some beaten egg. Just cover it nicely in the egg. Get all, all the excess off and then put it in some seasoned panko breadcrumbs. Take a little glob of bread crumbs and eggs and test out your oil. It, the oil should be pretty hot and it should brown up nice and quick so that you can just kind of flash fry the clams. If you overdo them, they get kind of rubbery. But there you go, perfectly golden brown, delicious clams. Then for the buns of the po' boy sandwiches, take some French bread loaves, cut them longwise, rub them with a little olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of basil, and then just put them in the oven and broil them. A high temperature keep a close eye on them then slice up some tomatoes and salt them and you're ready to go just make sure you watch that bread because it'll brown very quickly oh there you go he's got some garlic bread we take a bunch of these clam nuggets i want the I, I some greens oh, it tastes makes you <laughs> Some tartar sauce. Wow, that might taste good. <laughs> That's pretty good. There you go. That is so good. Fried clam po' boy right there. Good. I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's part in seven. It's so good. Well, this was fun. I had such a good time, babe, didn't you? I had a great time. <laughs> You did a good job cooking I don't love seafood, but you did a good job. Thank you, babe, thank you. Well guys, we absolutely love that clam po' boy. It was delicious. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same thing for the whelk. I looked up online how to cook whelks and it was recommended to remove the meat from the shell that you boil it for about five minutes and then you can just take a fork and pop it out. This turned out not to be the case. Um, it just would not come out and Ooh. I bent several forks. Uh, I tried to get in there as far as I could and see if I could cut cut loose some tendons. <sighs> no, it just I'm didn't work. I'm gonna tear it in there, and then I'm never gonna be able to get this stuff out. In the end, we only got some of the meat out. 
What meat I did get out of the shell was so rubbery, it was virtually edible. It was like chewing a rubber hose. So I've gotta learn more about that. Maybe in the future I can, I can figure out how to cook whelk. <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning and we have a number of really awesome catch and cook videos to check out. Thanks for watching, have a great day. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning and hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. Show me what you're eating. Lunch. <laughs> what do they taste like? They taste like chicken butt. They taste like what? Chicken butt. Are they delicious? Yeah. Yeah.